Good morning. Today we're in Luke 23, talking about Jesus' crucifixion. So much to talk about here. But first, enjoy our puppet skit. See you at the end. Hey guys, it's Polly. In Luke 23, we read about how Jesus was crucified as the final sacrifice for our sin. Oh, that is so sad. But uh, why did Jesus have to do it? He did it out of love so that we could be forgiven and able to go to heaven with him. Oh, yes, that makes sense. <laughs> I guess I, uh, I already knew that. Yes, and I want to go to heaven. Yeah, and the only way to go to heaven is with Jesus. He loved us so much to tell us how to get to heaven by making a clear way for us. So then, Jesus' crucifixion really isn't sad. That's right, because we know he rose from the dead, destroying the hold that death has on each of us. Mm -hmm. With Jesus, we have access to forgiveness of sins and eternal life. So. I was pondering, since Jesus loves us so much, how do you show the love of Jesus to others? Huh? Let's check it out. I decided to show the love of Jesus by inviting a new friend. Yeah, for a little snack. Alrighty, I got everything ready for my next mission. Yeah, I got my little ship here. It'll help me get where I need to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing. But uh, I never heard nothing answer my questions before. Oh, uh, we are birds. Just a bird under covers. Uh, if you're a bird, why don't you sing a song? The uh, tweet, tweet, chirp, chirp, um, bird seed. Bird seed. You're not a bird. I know a bird, sir, and you are no bird. No. Oh, you are right. My name is Frank. I am a uh, Sasquatch. Yeah. I just kind of live under covers and behind the couch. Yeah. A lot of people don't know I'm here. Mm -hmm. Well, that's okay. Oh, you look a little hungry. You want to come over to the table and have a snack? Oh, I love food. Food is my favorite, favorite hobby to eat food. Yeah. Oh, this is what table is like. I like table. Table better than floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now that you're out from under those covers, my mission is to feed you. Yeah. This look much better than dust bunnies uh, from under couch. Yeah, you don't need to hide. You're part of the family. You don't have to hide behind the couch or under covers. Yeah. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Since Jesus loves me so much, I always need to show his love to others. Yeah. And now it's time for Deep Thoughts with Blub Blub. Oh yes, Luke 23 verse 34 says, Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Even while Jesus was being crucified, he showed love to those around him, asking God the Father to forgive those who were crucifying him. Mm -hmm. If you accept the love of Jesus that he has for you, ah, you gonna be blessed. Guaranteed. The joy of Jesus makes me so happy. You know, it makes me want to fly away with joy. Wow, I just flew the coop. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Jesus loves you. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. Now, there's so much to talk about when we talk about the crucifixion. Jesus, our Savior, God in human flesh, died for our sins and rose again. Yet, some people will say, well, 
it's a historical fact. He died, but that was it. He was just a man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We see that Jesus, being God in human flesh, was so much more, and he came to be our sacrifice for sin our final sacrifice. We read in the Old Testament that it talks about lambs being sacrificed for sin as a covering for atonement, and there's more you can get into that. But guess what? John the Baptist knew this. He knew Jesus was our Savior. I love it. It says this in John chapter 1, verse 29, the next day John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of of God who takes away what the sin of the world the sin of some of us the sin of just a couple no the sin of the world if you ask Jesus in your heart you have forgiveness of sins John knew this John knew and understood Jesus would be the sacrifice for sins the final sacrifice for sins it says in the book of Hebrews without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins we've all sinned we've all made God sad by our disobedience. We need forgiveness. Jesus came to be that middleman, that mediator to bring about forgiveness by his death. Mm, perfect, perfect, perfect in every way. He never sinned. Yeah. Now, like I said, there's much we could say about this, but even in the Old Testament, we read, and the book of Isaiah, read the book of Isaiah chapter 53. Oh, it's amazing. 700 years before Jesus was walking the earth, this prophecy was said about the Messiah. Chapter 53, verse 5 through 6. But he was wounded for our transgressions, going against God, our trans we have transgressed. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Isn't that true? And the Lord has laid on him, Jesus, the iniquity of us all. The sins of the world are laid upon Jesus, the perfect sacrifice for our sins. This is what we celebrate this time of year. This is what we rejoice in. We rejoice in the fact that Jesus was the perfect sacrifice, God in human flesh, taking away our sins. All the sin of the world was laid upon him. And yet, what did John say? The Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. We have access in this way. And we have hope because of Jesus. Hmm. Yep, even cats can have hope. <laughs> so with that, let's pray. Sprinkles as cat is going to pray with us. Lord, we love you and we praise you. Thank you so much for this day. And Lord, as we celebrate your death and resurrection, help us to remember that you love us and help us to remember, Lord, that you died and rose from the grave for us. Lord, thank you for being our final sacrifice for sins. We love you, Jesus. and pray all these things in your name. Amen. God bless you. Gotta be in the shot. Gotta be here. Yep, there you are. Sprinkles the cat. Amen.